Stan, here we are. Could be a dangerously long video. I've been wanting to put do this video for ages, but kept putting it off. I do like old maps. I got this one the other day. North Yorkshire coast. Can't find my wife's hair dryer to get that sticker off. And as people often would probably realise, I don't need a hair dryer anymore. <laughs> so there you go. Now I am waiting on some other bits, but I've been waiting so long that I thought I would just crack on with it. I'm waiting for a Cleveland. Uh, county or Cleveland Cleveland police badge and the Durham police badge uh, but they're not they haven't been forthcoming yet so I have to put up with this now before I start this video I've hardly done any research so I'll tell you you can't really because if you try and look up Teesside Constabulary you'll come up with nothing really you'll just get redirected into nowhere back to where you were they are one of the most one of the shortest serving police forces in Britain in the modern age, uh, probably only superseded by, I think it was Northumberland. Northumbria police exists now, but Northumberland police, I think, were a bit shorter. And Yorks and North East Yorkshire police were the same length of time. But in, in the modern, we're thinking, is one of the shortest ones. And uh, not many people, well, there'll be no one younger than me would ever remember. The I was only a small kid. Uh, I've lived most of my life on the north bank of the river that's relevant and this will involve some local politics and right up to the present day i, I try to keep it short now a lot of the stuff i'm going to say is from my own experiences from what my parents said at the time what people have said adults when i was growing up said at the time and what i was witnessing going on and also a little bit of uh, research here and there but because it's i'm going to try and keep it flowing that uh, I'm not going to directly reference any sort of source as, and I don't want to go too far into it because it could get complicated and boring. But this is something that happened all over the UK in the 1970s, local government reorganisations. And now it's sort of panned out. For me, I think it's been a negative thing, uh, especially for the, the north bank of the river. But, well, it depends where you live. Uh, but I'm not, going to, I'm not going to accuse anybody of anything because I wasn't there. I wasn't an adult when this was going on. You know, I don't believe these things were voted on, but we'll crack on with it. So, prior to 1968, the River Tees, which is this river here, was the border between Durham and North, the North Ryde of Yorkshire. Now, there was a plan, probably should have looked it up, can't remember the name of it, and it was a plan to re re reorganise the, the, the whole of the country, and the idea was that urban areas, such as Teesside, Humberside, Tyneside, Wearside, uh, Merseyside should be because they are they are more uh, in one area they have more in common they should be standardized as like a, as a county or a city if you like Stockton uh, Billingham Hartlepool on this side of the river and Darlington down here they're in Durham the furthest extents of their county seat would be sort of Gateshead which is 30 odd miles away so the idea was that you know people in Stockton have more in common with people in Billingham put them in the same county something along them lines. So with that in mind, they needed a new police force, a police service. Now, so prior to 1968, uh, police officers, officer, would patrol, and has been said they would meet on the Victoria Bridge in Stockton, one from Durham, one from North Yorkshire. Even and all, go back their way. So they created um, a Teesside Police Service. Now, I suppose this is where it gets complicated with the politics of it. Teesside actually was a very small county. Initially, the they were gonna it, it, it preceded it preceded the, the real mass um the organizations of nineteen seventy four. Now, this is where I get my ideas of like maybes and why fors. It was said that Teesside would be created initially or earlier and I can't remember the exact wording of it, but it's this area here, the Seal Sands. See that line? There, that creek. That was the border of Teesside. It's actually marked on this map. And it came just around here. Just around the back of this town, around there. So it literally just snuck that little bit of area in. That there, in the late 60s, was developed as a massive chemical industry. Uh, it's still there now, although in a much reduced form. The towns of Eston... And Billingham, on either side of the river, both had industrial complexes, vast industrial complexes on their land. They were getting industrial rate paid into their coffers, and the towns were thriving because of that. 
The older towns of Stockton and Middlesbrough, I remember growing up as a kid, were past their best black sooty Victorian buildings. They needed investment. Now, my parents said that they colluded with each other and made sure that Billingham and Essendon squeezed out the deal will create a county where we will dominate the local um, the, the local government or um, scene, Teesside County Borough, which has been said was part of North Yorkshire. Um, and it does say on here, Yorkshire North Riding here. So it's all jumped up a bit, stole a bit of Durham. But when um, I was born on the north side of the river, it doesn't say that on my birth certificate, it just says Teesside. So there you go. Don't know on that one, but it says it on the map. They knew that this, this land was going to be developed. And the strange thing is, it has often been said by one of my family members who fancies himself as a local historian, that when this was all sorted out, this deal was put together, and these two towns, because Hartlepool and Darling were excluded, they got control of this massive industrial uh, site. There was one here, a great big one called Wilton. And that's where Eston got its money from. That Middlesbrough sort of did the, the jump on Stockton and said, we're having this across the road, across the river. And as an apprentice, the drawings and everything and the addresses of Seal Sands was Middlesbrough, even though traditionally it was on the other side of the river. <gasps> yeah, I know, it's get complicated. Stockton did get a lot of money. They, uh, they knocked down a quarter of their high street. Old Victorian buildings demolished, flattened, create a new shopping centre which is in the process now of being demolished not 50 years later so there you go so what's this going to do with the police well they needed a police police service a police force so Teesside County Borough County Constabulary was formed and that's its shield its helmet shield that's an eBay purchase and I think that's the Endeavour the Middlesbrough symbol I mean it was said that you know the towns of Eston and Eston Billingham overnight was stripped of all their finery. If these towns ever had finery, I don't know, because I wasn't alive then, 1960, 68. And there's the North Riding of Yorkshire. Uh, prior to that, uh, I think, I, did I say the Yorkshire North East, Yorkshire Police there, 68-74, they did this bit. Come along to 1974, and the, the big uh, experiment, or, yeah, sorry, prior to 1968 as well, Middlesbrough had its own police force. Middlesbrough Borough Police, and they ceased to exist in 1968. So come to 1974, and Teesside County Borough, which had only been around for six years, was gone. The creation around the country of other uh, county boroughs like this, the county borough, it became Cleveland. They wanted to include Whitby, which is right down the Yorkshire coast, and was it the Bal I can't remember the name of it, I don't want to say it. They wanted to take up, right the way up, into the Durham coast and, and for Tyne and Weir Council to come down and Durham Council would have no uh, coastal ac uh, access which was protested against uh, I mean Durham City or Durham City, Durham Council and all the towns on the north bank of the river who were involved in these various um, reorganisations protested so maybe there's some truth well there will be some truth in the fact that the two big towns in the area got the lion's share when it came to making Cleveland up which is a, an old Viking word or variation of a word for Cliffland, Saltburn. They included Hartlepool. It came down like a wedge. Hartlepool, around the back of here, I think Yarm, across to south of Saltburn, which is out that way. Um, Yarm actually had a sign up for years on the south side of the river, welcome to the no welcome to the historic county of North Yorkshire. <laughs> obviously people, people have snobbery. They want, they want, I miss snobbery, uh, Patriotic, that's not patriotic, what's the word? They like their traditions, they like to have been stayed in Yorkshire, etc. etc. Cleveland itself disappeared in 1996, sort of scuttled off into the distance, and no one really it, it, it just it happened so quick that nobody even knew, leaving all these towns in the area with no county. However, this area, the old area of Cleveland, kept Cleveland Police and Cleveland Fire Brigade, which it keep, keeps to this day. Darlington kept Durham Police. Or Darlington and Durham Police and Darlington Durham Fire Service. Uh, but Darlington came out of County Durham at the same time. Now they are preaching this five unitary authorities, Hartlepool, Stockton, Middlesbrough, Darlington and Redcliffe and Cleveland, I think it's called. But the south side of the river seen promoting this Yorkshire connection. It is a complete mess. And I, I did this video because I was thinking, I'm just probably boring for somebody that lived around here. But I've been asked if I was a Geordie before by certain people on, on YouTube, which, I, which I'm, not a, I'm not a Geordie. People, the accent that you might so, associate with 
more of a northern Geordie accent, starts up probably about there. Yeah, there's, there's sort of a line you can go across the road and people start talking like Geordies. Are. But it's up that way. This this part isn't. So what are we around here? Well, I feel his impact where they're taking the transporter bridge down. Um, Tim Healy, the actor, is asked by someone, what are they at? What are they around here? He says, oh, the Smuggies. And that's something that's been picked up by the football fan. That's strictly, that was strictly just from Arvidas MP. That's not what people are called around here, never were. The strange thing is, because of the advent of the internet, you know, Royal Mail, etc., etc., you don't have a county address anymore. So a lot of things you buy online, if you live on the north bank of the river, it'll say Durham, south bank, it'll say uh, Yorkshire. In some cases, it'll still say Cleveland, the county that hasn't existed for getting on for 30 years now. Postcodes. Postcodes for this area, Teesside, from a county that only that hasn't existed since 1974. And that Teesside postcode goes right out to Sedgefield, which is still and always was in County Durham. We've had various bodies around here. Uh, Teesside Development Corporation, which I worked as a contractor for. Basically doing up old areas, old industrial areas, old uh, marinas and stuff like that. Yeah, good. Lots and lots of money, millions of pounds of money spent. But I wonder how well it was handled. Uh, this this, this uh, Quango unelected body came, had the power of someone's check checkbook, spent it all and just went, disappeared. And I, and I feel that the this area, this region, deserves better than that. Uh, we're losing a lot. With One of the big chemical works has just shut the steel plant closed. Uh, well, to close in 2015. There's a loss of jobs. We have, have no identity. We, I, I personally feel that. I mean, if there's anyone watching from this area, they, I'd be quite uh, willing to take on any criticism. But it does does seem that we don't have an identity in, in this region at all. I mean, the one of the more recent ones was uh, the airport is probably it's probably under the Elton Eelscliff. The airport is around here. Somewhere it probably might not even be on this map, but it's an old RAF base. It was called Teesside Airport for for, for forever, and then in the change it to Durham and Tees Valley, and it just didn't stick. People just didn't didn't want to call it that. Um, so now we have the the, the five ele uh, unelected. Well, I think they are elected, but I never got to vote on it. Unitary authority, except it's 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 a county in in name but only that includes Darlington, and I just. It's another level of bureaucracy, and me and Mrs. Stan were out the other day, and we went across one of the bridges over the river here, and it's got welcome to the historic county of Durham, the historic county of North Yorkshire, but in some respects, the councils are paying lip service to people's um, sort of insistence, because people have complained that they like to go back to the old counties. In this day and age, I don't see why, say, for example, you live in Hartlepool, you cannot be part of Durham, but just let Hartlepool Council itself deal with its roads, it's everything else, and leave Durham City to do what, and the same for the other towns in the area. And probably, and I thought I'd see it in my lifetime, but but not at all. So we're not Geordies, uh, we're not Smoggies, that's just a lot of rubbish. But this is, a, that's a brief history of the, the loca local government fudging arounds in this area. That, that happened everywhere. I mean, Humberside, that disappeared. That was, that became East Riding and North Lincolnshire, I believe. And it is quite funny that um, Yorkshire was north, south, north, east, west riding. And riding is a, is a Viking word for thirding. And now they've got South Yorkshire. So how can it be a thirding when there's four, four Yorkshires? That seems strange. But it happened all over the country. And they, they made a fudge of it. That just, you know, it happened just before I was born. I remember school books with Teesside, uh, County Borough and Durham as well. So it, 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 is, it is a mismatch. It is a mismatch. But still we have the old county police. So... That's your yeah, North Riding Constabulary. And that's Teesside Constabulary, Helmet Badge, one of the shortest serving police services in uh, UK history. And uh, who knows where we'll go from here. Um, whatever it is, it probably won't be good for the locals, will it? And that's my own personal opinion. So I hope you stuck with that, <laughs> me rattling on for nearly 15 minutes. So we'll see how we go. If this, if this video is crap, I'll just take it down. So this is Stan, and it's my brief history of the local area. See ya.